right guys, welcome back to a new video. Obviously I'm starting this video with a face mask on as usual. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of self care this morning. I'm gonna have a smoothie and just start the day really positively. Um, thank you so much for all your amazing messages recently. Like, um, and especially like about the incident that happened to me. Um, the burn is doing a lot better. It's still very, very painful, but I'm literally just trying to get on with everything and not think about it too much. Um, it's definitely healing. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for everyone that's asked me and yeah um i hope you're all really safe and well and you're having a nice ish isolation if possible um i'm just gonna make a smoothie because i'm absolutely starving so for this morning's smoothie i'm having the same what i had the other day i've got some of this easy peasy almond squeezy prep thing left i'm gonna put some more of it in i actually get a few goes out of this which is good so i'm gonna use that i'm gonna put some spinach in some banana and then this almond milk which is from little that's where i'm doing all my food shops at the moment super cheap and this one is actually really nice i've got the little oat milk as well which is yummy so i'm gonna blend all these together for a good morning start <laughs> my smoothie i'm so excited for this it's literally bright green so yeah let's give it a taste test time is um half 11 i've not yet eaten breakfast i think this is just isolation mood is getting up late so i'm gonna make a smoothie and then i'll be back with you to do a little taste test so here we have my smoothie i'm very excited to try it mm. oh my god that tastes so good that is so yummy oh my god i put ice in it as well I don't, I never thought I was a fan of like green smoothies, but I feel like if you put banana and stuff in it, it makes it really, really tasty. So I'm going to sip this and have a nice day. I'm probably going to sit on the grass in the sun on a little patch of garden um, and just chill for the rest of the day, really. I've faked hands, so I'm feeling bronzed and yeah, everything's good in the hood. <laughs> At the moment, getting social media consists of me on timer. My boyfriend isn't the greatest taking photos, nor does he want to. <laughs> Um, he's not really into the whole social media world. So yeah, time of life is my best friend right now. Um, it's been a struggle getting content, but I still want to try and post like really fun things for you guys. So yeah, I'm enjoying the face mask pictures and that's about as exciting as it's getting right now on my Instagram. But yeah, go follow me if you want some fashion-y weird content. What? <laughs> camera away. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on. outside and I'm gonna edit some photos that I took this morning if you want to see how I edit my photos and watch the last vlog okay. I'll put you past my card again <laughs> and I've also got some of these from Lidl which are like my fave uh, crisp snacks they're really good and we just bought some sun cream as well um, because it's pretty hot outside so the smell of sun cream is actually so good it makes me feel like I'm actually on holiday yeah that's the plan I think I'm used to it by now thank you I'm a savage. <laughs> Classy, bougie. Ratchet. Wants me to vlog him. <laughs> For lunch, I'm gonna have, basically last night me and Jordan made homemade pizzas using, um, I linked it on my stories actually, but sorry, is this screen a bit? That's better. I linked it on my um, Instagram stories, but we use this really easy recipe to make pizza dough. Um, I'll try and link it down below actually for you guys if you wanna make pizza. It's gonna be in the fridge, you know. Um, so I've got a bit of leftover that I put in tin foil. It's actually delicious, so we put like, I'm going to show you probably not in the fridge, what the hell am I doing? Um, so it looks kind of minging now, but the it, last night it looked amazing. So we put um, goat's cheese, red onion, spinach, onion marmalade, um, a tomato base, and it was just so yummy. So I'm going to heat this up now. 
Um, actually, no, I'm going to have it cold. I'm in the mood for cold pizza. Um, comment down below if you like cold pizza because people find that really weird, but I just love cold pizza. I'm going to have this with some lettuce, I think. I'm really enjoying iceberg at the moment. I don't know why. With mayo, I just think it's pang. Um, also, so from Lidl, I picked up a few bits. I got some olives and strawberries, and I got some cold hams. Um, and I also got... Oh, is that closed? And I also got this ice cream, which is like one of those good healthy ones. Well, not healthy, but like lower calorie ones from Lidl. So tomorrow we're going to have like gin and loads of cold meats and stuff outside, which is going to be pang, little little date lunch kind of thing. So that is really yummy, by the way. I definitely recommend that if you want like a healthier ice cream. Um, also from Lidl, I'm just going to do a little Lidl haul while I'm here. I picked up this m and &M cookie mix, which I might make later for you guys. So yeah, watch this space. This is my lunch, pizza and salad. It is 11, 11? Well, quarter past one. And I'm gonna take my lunch outside to eat it with Jordan. It looks very yummy, I'm very excited for this. I'm so happy I left half my pizza now for today. Outside. It's supposed to say, it says it's going to be um, like sunny in Nottingham all day, but the weather is clearly lying to me. Oh, the battery's low. So I've come inside and I'm going to make my m and M. I can find them, my m and biscuits. They look delightful. I also got an extra bag of m ms because I'm a fat bitch, so I might put some like sprinkle on top, you know. So yeah, this is the plan. Gonna make some fat food. So I'm just melting some butter in the microwave and then I'm just gonna literally mix this in to the butter and then add a tablespoon of water and we're done. So I'm very excited. I hope they taste pear. I absolutely love M&Ms. Does anyone else love M&Ms? So I'm very excited. This was literally so cheap as well from Lidl. They had loads of different types you can get. They had cakes and everything. So yeah, obviously most shops do these and this is just a fun, quick way to make something treaty if you don't wanna do like the full, go the full way. So while I've been waiting for them to cook, I've been trying to learn some TikTok dances. I have not danced in about three years now. I, fun fact, I used to dance like all my life, but then I stopped when I went to uni. And I've lost the knack, literally. Um, I used to do mostly ballet, and I used to do point a lot. I absolutely loved it, but yeah, I've lost the knack of dancing. So I've just taken out my biscuits and, oh, let's put this off. I can't lie, they don't look great and they've not gone too well. I don't really know what I've done wrong. I think it might be because we have no things across the oven right now. So I put it on the bottom of the oven, so I don't know if they've cooked properly. But the top of them was burnt. Oh, God. Guys, I will never be a good cook, I don't think. It's just really tragic. I mean, I'm sure they taste nice, but doesn't that just look a bit shit? <laughs> oh, dear, what is this? I'll taste them when they cool down and see what they're like. But just sat on them um, one side of my ass, so the burnt side, the prop, both sides are burnt, but one side is like severely worse. I'm just sat on the uh, the cheek that isn't too bad. Um, can confirm these taste a bit like shit. Um, yeah, basically I didn't take them out of the oven because they were still squishy. So I was thinking, mm, they should harden up in the oven. Um, I was just texting Chloe. Chloe's like my best friend. And she was making this amazing like marble, marble chocolate cake. And she's like a wife in the making. And I was here making packet M&M biscuits and I can't even make these right. 
two types of girls in this world. Um, I'm literally out of breath because I've been learning TikTok dancers and yeah, like I said, I've not danced in so long. So I'm kind of like, this is a bit foreign to me now, but anyway, I very much enjoyed it. Then if I post one, I think I'm going to keep practicing and then post one. Um, but I'm very rusty. Yeah, I know TikTok doesn't isn't serious when it comes to dancing, but like, you know when you've been a dancer, like you like to get it right. Um, and I was watching all the videos back of the way I danced and I was thinking like, those things are what my dance teacher used to point out, like I don't do certain things right. And so, because I've been like a dancer, it's just ingrained in my brain to do it properly, so I'm going to keep learning those. And yeah, see how it goes. But yeah, I don't plan on putting any, any makeup on today, I'm just going to have a makeup free day. You know, when I think back to like a year ago, I honestly used to hate and feel so self-conscious putting myself out there without any makeup on. Like whether it's on my Instagram or YouTube, and now I just don't really care. Like, I just feel like that is such a good step in confidence, you know, just being able to wear no makeup and just not caring. Um, ideally, my face would be a bit more tanned right now, like as well as my body, but this is just, you know, gotta go with the natural sometimes. Um, but yeah, I've had a few questions on like how to stay productive and stuff during these times for furloughed um, people. Um, this girl messaged me saying how there's been a lot to do with. Um, how to keep students productive but not people that are like postgrad furloughs furloughed so i would just say i basically i spent the first few weeks of isolation feeling like really weird and like out of routine because and especially now i have like my life in london it is the most fast-paced life going so coming back up north and not really doing anything was like whoa like a really weird adjustment for a few weeks make sure you are um getting out of bed a reasonable time, putting on an outfit, not staying in PJs or like whatever you wear to bed. Um, start the day with a healthy breakfast, like smoothie, lo drink loads and loads of water. I'm literally drinking so much at the moment, like more than I ever have, um, with lemon in it just to keep my body healthy. And obviously water is really good for um, energy as well. Um, my biggest thing for self-motivation is setting myself a list each day so my phone's on charge at the moment but i always go on notes and i write down like a list of all the things i want to do that day for me it's usually like social media things so um i write down the content i want to get the stuff i want to post etc etc even when it comes down to instagram stories sometimes i like schedule what i want to do what day just so like i have a rough idea of the day and that is basically my key point for motivation is writing lists every morning or every night before because it's literally just such a help when it comes to motivation and it gives you like a guide for the day as well um but yeah that's I just don't think there's much else we can do right now like we've just got to go with the flow um if you have got uni work to do or you're still working full time um, and you've not been furloughed then just choose a part of your house flat wherever you live and a part that really is in a lot of daylight um, a nice area to work in, get a nice drink, make yourself a nice coffee, um, get some nice stationary bits and just do little things like that that will help you out motivation wise. And we will be going back to work at some point. So just, I don't know, just make the most of it, I guess. And um, just take time for yourself and try and chill. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing really well. I know it's really easy to like eat a lot of shit in these times and I've been eating like a bit what I've been baking and stuff but I've been trying to do like the 80, 80 what's it called, like 80 20 thing where you eat 80% healthy then 20% shit um, and I have been eating pretty healthy, like a lot healthier than I have been doing for about a week and a half and I honestly already feel so much better and um, my stomach's not as bloated and stuff so yeah I definitely recommend trying to be healthy and yeah healthy body healthy mind <laughs> so it is uh quarter to six now um i've just been outside i was listening to the girls bathroom podcast just having a little sunbathe again kind of got to the stage of the, stage of the day where i'm a bit bored i think the boys are gonna have a barbecue outside but i'm just gonna have something that i've got for tea um that's like not too unhealthy -ish. well actually i think i'm gonna have chicken wraps which i guess is all right um but yeah i probably have that quite soon because i'm quite hungry okay scary times i just put my first dance tiktok so if you want to go and see it follow me there I'm very aware all this vlog has been is food um probably gonna make it what in a day because food is life you know um i've got these corn chicken nuggets unreal and i'm gonna have them with pepper lettuce red onion and two wraps with sweet chili and mayo so i'm very excited i literally love this meal so much i'm just gonna cut up the onion and yeah, pop these in as well. Oh, the racks aren't on. Hopefully it'll be all right, whatever.
me two of these um, like frozen cocktails. This one is daiquiri and this one is mojito, but I think I'm gonna wait till I have some gins and stuff tomorrow. I'm gonna have an actual drink tomorrow because I've literally not drank in like two weeks because I had an infection. I was on antibiotics and stuff, so not drank, but tomorrow it's gonna be so hot that I just don't wanna not drink. So I think I'm gonna save this for tomorrow and have a pang day. We're gonna have like loads of like tapasy bits. So I'm gonna do a whole new vlog tomorrow, you know? Keep you guys updated, keep you guys entertained, um, and all of that. So, yeah. And here we have my chicken, well, corn chicken wraps. I'm very excited. I put cheese in them as well, um, and red onion, and they look delicious. So, I'm gonna eat these outside um, on the grass. And I'm probably just gonna end this vlog here because I don't think much else exciting stuff will be happening. <laughs> um, probably just chill tonight, and I'll probably see you in the morning for another vlog. So, uh, yeah, I will see you in the morning. Got my dinner. Um, and I hope you all have a lovely evening or day whenever you're watching this. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Mwah.